Okay, hey everybody, this is Matt with Low Cash Homestead. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about COVID-19 and school. So, our school, our brick and mortar school, what's called the Resident District, put out their COVID mitigation policies a couple of months ago. I read over them and I thought, uh, they are not, let's move this label so people don't see our address. And I read them over and thought, this is basically a joke. There's no way to enforce any of these. Then, uh, even like last week, they had pictures that they had put on Facebook of, hey, look how great school is. Uh, no kids are wearing masks. They're all over each other. And we didn't think that was safe. So um, what we did, and we actually did this prior to that, and we just found it to be kind of funny that they put all these pictures up of, hey, look how great school is. No kids are wearing masks. Everybody's on top of each other. I don't know how you're going to keep your your uh, your kids safe like that. So, in any case, uh, we enrolled our kids in a school called Connections Academy. This is an online school accredited by the state of Missouri. Hold on. Yes, but we're not going to spell it while Dad's got the camera running because we want to keep some parts of our privacy, okay? So... We enrolled them in a school called Connections Academy, and it is a Missouri-accredited school. This school has actually been around for a long time. Um, they've been around for 15 or 20 years, and what they do is they integrate online along with hard copy. So let's say here's an, this is one of my other kids' books here. Okay, so you'll have lots of online lessons, and then you'll have a book where you have to go through and do the lessons inside the book. This one happens to be a math book and you can see that my daughter has done some of the lessons in here in accordance with the the online program. So this is an option. Okay now we also live in rural America which means internet can kind of be an issue. We're gonna make another video about that later and talk about how we've upgraded our internet. But I just want to recommend if you're having concerns about your kids being in an being in a, a, a brick and mortar school, a resident district, then Connections Academy might be an option for you or some other type of online school. We chose Connections Academy because it was accredited by the state of Missouri. Um, as I've been going through lessons with the kids, um, the curriculum is much more advanced than our resident district brick and mortar school. And they send you pretty much everything you need. Now, if you have a technology hardship and maybe you need an additional computer or something in Missouri, you can get one on loan. You will have to send it back. So we got one. Then we also purchased a few uh, of these little, let's see if we can get it like right there. That's like a little $100 Windows computer. It needs a little bit more updating to make everything work um, as far as, because you're going to use Adobe Connect, you're going to use Flash, you're going to use... Um, uh, PowerPoint and Excel and a bunch of these different things. So um, I'm going to have to run some more updates on that. But overall, I think that this is a good option if you're worried about sending your kids to school through COVID. Uh, also, this is uh, this the, this is a Missouri accredited school, so it's already paid for by Missouri tax dollars. So there's no tuitions to pay. It is technically a public school. Although I have found, like I said before, the curriculum to be far more advanced than our brick and mortar resident district school. And one of the things that happens is like, let's say uh, that you have to do a Venn diagram. So there'll be a PDF that allows you to do that Venn diagram. Then you can download it. Then you can download that and, uh, and there'll be an option to attach that in your Dropbox for the student so you can submit all of your homework like that for things that like these workbooks and stuff you just take a picture and you send it to the teacher uh, when they request to see it um, they also have PE included and there is a a matrix of PE activities that you can do and one problem that we're facing right now which we hope to solve soon is that there's no way for me to print that um, library is still closed because of uh, COVID policies and the next place office store is 30 miles so uh, we're working on getting a, uh, a printer uh, but probably Amazon one as soon as that becomes a viable option okay so this is Matt with a low cash homestead I want to show you how we're doing school through the COVID 
pa uh, pandemic, and in our state, the numbers keep fluctuating. They go up, they go down, they go up, they go down. And um, Mrs. Lokesh Holmes said and I were watching some news reports, seeing the numbers go up. And uh, we have a general feeling that schools are going to be closed again in this area probably uh, pretty soon. They closed two months early um, because of COVID. They closed back in like March. Um, and so this has seemed to be a good option. As a parent, it can be a little bit nerve-wracking when you have a lot of children to do class with. Um, we have seven that live with us. Six are enrolled in class because there is no online pre-K through this school. Um, but there is another option for that. A couple of them that we use and have used in the past before is something called Starfall. Starfall is really great uh, for younger kids, and I think that's 35 bucks a year or something. And then the other one that we've used prior to this for two of my uh, kindergartners, which are now first graders, was one called Time for Learning. That's time, letter for, learning.com. That costs you, I think, 20 bucks for the first child, 10 bucks every child after that. And that is also a very, very good um, award winning, actually, that has six different awards and certifications. That's called Time for Learning. And that's another option, although it is not technically a school. The reason we wanted to go with a school is because the Missouri laws are written in a way that it can make it more difficult to put them in an online school. Or, excuse me, if they were to tradition to a, back to a brick-and-mortar school uh, when this whole pandemic thing is done, um, it can be more difficult in that way uh, we have found from experience from the last time that I homeschooled that doing it independently no matter what information you submit our particular resident district is kind of jerks about it so we went with a Missouri accredited online school this is Matt with the low cash home said we're just talking about online school and connections Academy is who we used they've been around for a very long time and they're available in a lot of states, and they just came to Missouri in June of 2020. And uh, so far, their curriculum has been much more advanced than what was offered at our brick-and-mortar uh, resident district. That was Lokesh Homestead. Thank you very much. Have a good day.